So I am not going to talk about split screen in this video. You already know it. In fact, I also made a video on it. So what's going to be happen in today's video? Of course, it's going to be split screen, but in a different way. What do I mean by that? See, in a typical split screen, what happens? Two or more video clips are joined, but both the video clips are completely different from each other. There is no connection from one clip to another. But today, what I'm going to talk about, of course, is going to be split screen. But here, one video clip refers to the other. Basically, the second clip is a continuation of the first clip, as you can see here. Both the video clips are in same motion and same action. It's very simple to make, but the challenge is you have to find that kind of relevant stock video clips. And luckily, I got these two video clips. So let's start. I'm using your hit film express, but you can use any software, any tool. So first of all, in the composite shot, you drag these two video clips and place the second video clip at the bottom. And as you can see in the second video clip from this portion, it will start. All right, for a moment, I'll reduce my opacity so that I can see the background clip. Let's rename those first. Okay, to match the movement, you have to play with the timing of both the video clips. And for that, I have to trim from the beginning portion so that it can match. No, it's still not matching. Let's do it again. And uh, just drag it a little bit here. And I think we are almost done. And both the actions are aligned together. Here I'll apply one rectangular mask to the middle of the screen. And make your opacity back to 100. You can raise your scale a little bit. Okay, here is a minor issue. Basically, my first character should completely out of my frame and be revealed in my next frame. So I will play with the position parameter in the mask. Just do one minor trimming. And you are done. And you can trim out the extra portion. Finally, you will see this nice split screen but in a different way, where my second clip is the continuation of my first clip. Similarly, you can have an another example. Look at this. Here my first player kicked the ball and in the second clip, the goalkeeper catched the ball. It looks like the entire scene in the same environment, but actually both the clips are completely different from each other. So that's all it is. You can try this. If you're getting problem of finding relevant stock clips, then you can shoot by yourself as well to get an optimum result. Well, I already made a typical split screen effect a couple of times back, you can watch here. And uh, let me know in the comments about this video. If you have any questions, then please tell me. Smash the like button and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And I will see you in the next video with more interesting videos.